Hi guys, Candace from Pinocchio Chrysler. So today I want to take advantage of this beautiful weather that we're getting again. Um, was minus 40 last week, so it didn't get outside very much. Actually, I quite procrastinated on it. Anyways, today we're going to start off our videos with a 2018 Dodge Challenger GT. Beautiful car. Uh, it's all I can do not to just take off for the afternoon in this car. Started it up, just drove around the lot, and I thought, ugh be nice to just go for a drive anyways I'll leave that up to you guys when you want to come take it for a drive but I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll take a look okay so here is this beautiful 2018 Dodge Challenger GT under the hood we have a 3.6 liter Penstar engine with an 8-speed automatic torque fleet transmission on your wheels here those beautiful rims are 19 inch um, what is the word for it? Granite crystal aluminum wheel. I was looking for the word granite. Give you a quick look down the other side. Your gas tank there. I'm just gonna grab the keys. Okay, so on your keys, you have your unlock lock, your um, trunk there, and the remote start. I'll demonstrate the remote start for you. Plus your panic button, but we won't demonstrate that. Nice. All right, let's unlock. Um, this also has a uh, proximity keyless entry. So they have that little button on there, that's what tells us. So all I gotta do is put my hand on the door handle and it unlocks. So coming in on the driver's side, you have your unlock lock and windows, plus your mirror adjust. Cup holder there in the door, plus your handle for your exit. All Garth going on in here. I think that's kind of a perfect for this car. Anyways, on the driver's side, you have your automatic seat adjust. On the seat, and they're covered with black vented leather. Let's step on inside. Okay, let's turn down the radio as much as I love that song. Um, so on, oh, sorry, proximity keyless. I'm gonna put my brake. I'm just getting a habit of just kind of keep talking. And so all I had to do was put my foot on the brake and press the start button and your um, dashboard and all that light up. So on your steering wheel on the, f on the left, you have your dashboard options. There we go. And plus your Uconnect. Coming over to the right, you have your cruise control settings as well as your sensors for the front and back to adjust them. Let's go to the center here. Nice big LCD screen. A um, bunch of different options. So you have your radio is your first option, your AM, FM, your media. It means you can connect things like your iPhone or iPod, whichever. Uh, climate control. You have heated seats plus vented seats plus a heated steering wheel. Apps. So here is where you can manage your performance. I don't know a lot about this, but um, one of our sales professionals will be an expert. So if you do have questions about that, I'm sure they can go through all the ins and outs of the performance of this car and how to adjust the settings or what you'd want them at. Um, there you, you have a budget. This could be a Wi-Fi hotspot. You have your heated steering wheel um, settings so you can customize all sorts of uh, different settings on here, such as locks and unlock. I'm just gonna do an example. So, uh, sound horn with lock, you can turn that off if you want. So everything can pretty much be adjusted through this LCD screen. It's kind of where I'm getting with that. You could probably sit in here for a good couple hours and just play around with it. Try not to change it to Spanish and then forget where you changed it. <laughs> That would be something I would do. Okay, here again is your heated seats. So a couple of different places you could turn those on, plus your mirror dimmer up top. Um, there's your nav. We have what's called Guardian, very similar to OnStar. So this is a subscription with your um, Sirius XM radio. So if you do run into any problems, you can call from help through that, which is a very nice feature. And your phone and we're not gonna connect to mine. So, let's flip back to radio. Um, we do, these, this car is equipped with the backup camera. Actually, that's very pretty. Okay, 
so coming down here, um, you have some options there, plus your heat um, down here if you don't want to run it with the LCD screen, your volume. Let me just say this sound system in here is awesome. Everything about this car is really nice. It's got me pretty excited. So this will get you from reverse um, neutral drive park, some cup holders here console in the middle with your USB connections there. Connect your phone like we were saying on the LCD screen. Just going to move our way up. Readjust. So here you have your, I guess you put set your sunglasses because along with this car you probably should wear a nice pair of sunglasses. Um, and then your sunroof up there which you can easily shut or open. And then you can open the sunroof through that button there. Okay, coming down to the passenger side here, you do have some storage in the console on your passenger. We'll just keep the video running for this. Usually I stop it and get out, but I don't have to open up any other vehicle or any other door. So flip up the front seat. You can get two more, three more in the back. Um, the third person would be pretty squished, that's why I said two, but you could possibly fit three smaller people in there. You wouldn't want three big men. Um, that does fold down into a cup holders for the back. And I'm just going to open up. Oh, it's beautiful chrome fuel compartment there. I'm just going to open up the trunk here. There's your backup camera. Okay, for some reason I'm not. Oh, there we go, I just had to lift from the bottom. So your mats are just sitting in the trunk right now. Um, just wanna give you an idea of how much storage the car has. There we go. So that concludes our walk around of this 2018 Dodge Challenger GT. If you'd like to take this beautiful car for a test drive, just give us a call today and we'll set something up. Thank you all for watching my video and I hope you have a great day.